Hello, my name is Kyle Corcoran, and I'm going to be showing you the magic of four mallet technique on marimba. Uh, so what you want to do in order to start playing with four mallets is you want to be able to perfect two mallets. Now the mallets I have here are made of a birch wood shaft along with uh, rose colored yarn, and that's with both mallets. And <clears throat> I'm just going to show you guys uh, a little technique um, in, in order to master two mallet technique. Now, when you're doing two mallet technique, you got to hold the sticks uh, kind of like this with your thumb uh, enclosed and your fingers wrapped around uh, the shaft of the mallet. And in order to really work on your technique, um, it's really easy just uh, doing scales. Uh. And just going up and down the board, uh, just doing, doing uh, what are called strokes. And it's not too hard. Um, you, you guys should be able to get it pretty quickly if you're starting out on percussion or even if you've been if you've been playing for a while it's it's something that is comes naturally as as percussionists now when you're doing four mallet technique things start getting a little bit more complicated um for example uh i'll just play a little bit of something that i know off the top of my head uh using this four mallet technique uh which is a musser grip and a musser grip is a more fluid kind of grip, it gives you a little bit more um, range in terms of how to hold the mallets and uh, I'll show you guys how to actually do it in just a second. technique requires a couple of different things. One, you actually need to have four mallets, and it, it, it can actually be four two completely different mallets, or four completely different mallets, whatever whatever kind of sound you're looking for. And what you would want to do is take the first mallet that you have, uh, wrap your ring finger and your pinky finger around it. Uh, see how I have it like that? Uh, wrapped around it. And then what you're going to want to do is take one of your other mallets and stick it in the middle of your hand and what you're gonna do is make sure that your index finger and your middle finger are wrapped around the mallet that had the that your pinky and your ring finger are wrapped around and make sure it's tucked right in there to uh, secure it and you're going to want to hold this mallet here. This is usually called the three mallet or the two mallet, depending on your perspective. And you're going to hold that uh, like you would hold, maybe not a pencil necessarily, but you're going to have your thumb and your uh, index finger on it like this. And you're going to want to do that in the same with your right hand. So see how I have them. Uh, pinky and index uh, pinky and ring finger wrapped around and the index finger and thumb securing the mallet so that they don't fall so they don't fall off and just a couple of quick exercises to help you get used to this new technique um, uh, something called permutations which is basically going uh, back and forth on the instrument depending on where you are or what you're comfortable with so Usually I'll just start with a C major, just... And when you're, you can switch your permutations whenever you want in the middle of anything that you ever want. So right now I'm doing the, uh, I guess from your perspective it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, but for mine it's going to be 4, 3, 2, 1. So I'll do it from mine, so... So 
that was four, two, one, three. Now let's try it with three, two, four, one. And you can go back and forth um, between these permutations just to get yourself used to this technique. And there's another four mallet technique uh, called Burton Grip. Now when you want to do Burton Grip, um, it's kind of similar but kind of not. Um, it's also called Cross Grip. Um, what you want to do is take one mallet and the other mallet and cross them together so they look, so it's basically like an X. But you want them to be uh, close enough um, so you actually be able to grab it, uh, holding, holding the mallet like this with just your um, index finger and middle finger, and you've got to put your other mallet like this. So uh, they're crossed, and you can... You can do that um, in the other hand as well. Or sometimes I've had situations where I've had to use both grips at the same time. And this grip, at least in my experience, is really only used uh, for doing fast intervals, uh, which are spaces between notes. So when I'm doing... with that stuff. I mean, when I tried doing it with muscle grip, it works, but it's not as fantastically magical as I would like it. Now, two things to note about muscle grip, um, muscle grip and Burton grip, or cross grip. Um, muscle grip uh, is a little bit more fluid, but it's also a little bit more unstable. And when you're doing Burton grip, it's a little bit more stable, but it's less fluid. You, you're more you don't, you don't get that pretty kind of thing when you're doing just Burton grip. It's not as, it's not as pretty. Um, well, thank you listening for listening to this seven-minute lecture. And have a good day.